Oh man, poor tractor. Oh. This is what we have. This is a Ford. 1600 Shubahara tractor. And we have the old engine over here. But I can't find parts for it. It runs, but it's a piece of junk. So, I found this cute little Perkins three cylinder. Same displacement. Uh, makes the same horsepower at the ridiculous 2,000 RPMs that that thing made. And uh, I needed to have that because of the gearing for the PTO. I mean, to get the right PTO speed, the right horsepower. And then this little motor happens to drop into the curve. It makes more horsepower at more speed. but I need to be able to run it at 2,000 to run my PTO stuff. So, now I have to get it to stick on there. And the problem is, it came with this little plate, and this little housing, and this is made for your uh, typical SAE hydraulic pump housing hydraulic pump mounts and that's what this thing ran is a hydraulic pump so we need structure to attach the structural block to the rest of the tractor this is not going to do it so here we got some plates and let my welder cool down. But uh pretty simple operation really. Um the big hole is SA5, typical standard uh you can pull the dimensions right off the internet. So uh these two big plates were the same size uh, length and width, um, but we have a quarter inch and then three eighths down below here that goes up against the engine. And uh, all I did was exit out from my layout to find my center used a square to to do my pinholes then once I got those done I could pin it to the to the housing and use transfer punches these cool little guys real handy they, they fit the various hole sizes and give you a little center punch mark dead center and I just use that to get the rest of the uh, bolt circle done. And that got that done. That's just a plasma cut by hand. With coffee, of course. But then, um, then we uh, laid out the four corner holes with these plates together. Go ahead and pilot drill and drill out the big holes. So now we got it lined up. Then we hit the transfer. Whoop. This mess onto the 3 h plate down below. How did I get that centered? Well, it's it's pretty easy. We had the center hole or center mark. Drilled it with a. Uh, what is this? 5 16 Made this little guy on the lathe. 
bolted it through that hole so that held this thing centered use the square to line it up with this edge here and then start punching holes start to punch in your centers voila and then that, that's another hand cut with the plasma and coffee and I had to do countersunk bolts because of the thickness here to clear the flywheel that's where starter bolts up and then uh, you know I just got the right spacing and I'm just gonna weld this ring in here Rolled the ring out on the old Harbor Freight ring roller. And away we go. It was pretty simple to figure out. I could stick everything together temporarily and look through this little hole and get my make sure I got the uh, clutch sitting right on the splines and make sure I'll be able to make a pilot bushing to fit in the end of the flywheel and uh, where is that flywheel oh there it is flywheel's a little small this little guy so I'm just gonna take this piece of plate which was left over from cutting out the SAE hole boom <laughs> it's just a tractor it's not a race car not much slip in here not a daily driver <coughs> boom like that And this could be our clutch. That's pretty much it. Um, there will be some more bracing. I'm gonna uh, come off a little ear over here. I'll make a little ears. Um, essentially, once everything's done, these corners will get cut off. But I'm gonna leave some ears. So I can run uh, some DOM tube braces from up high on the engine down to the front bracket here. These things, t they like to rely on the, the structural block and since I've got this offset going on here, which these washers will be replaced with solid spacers that will be welded but uh yeah i don't want to rely totally on the block for that strength helping out to engine and tractor <laughs>